I'm Doug Apple, and my heart is on fire. Luke 24, 32. Yeah, but how can I overcome the flesh? That's what someone asked me, and it's a good question. Different sins can get hold of different people, Christian people, and sometimes they even battle those sins and lose. So what's the answer? How can you overcome the flesh and the sin and temptation that go with it? My advice is don't try to tackle it head on, but turn your attention elsewhere. Dealing with the flesh can be like dealing with a toddler. You can fight all day with a toddler about that thing they're fixated on, but sometimes it's just better to say, hey, how about a popsicle? Then they squeal with delight, run to the kitchen, and forget all about that other thing. In the same way, you can battle your flesh all day long. Drop that sin, drop that sin, drop that sin, but the flesh wants to hold on to it. So what do you replace it with? Instead of fighting the flesh head on, you present yourself to the Lord and keep presenting yourself to the Lord. Lord, here I am. I'm all yours. Romans 6.13 tells us to present ourselves to God. Romans 12.1 tells us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. I like the words of the new song, Broken Things, by Matthew West. It says, but if it's true you use broken things, then here I am, Lord. I'm all yours. I recommend doing it every day. Lift your hands and surrender to heaven and present yourself as a living sacrifice to God. Lord, here I am. I'm all yours. I want to do what you want me to do, say what you want me to say, be what you want me to be. I want to bear good eternal fruit and I can only do that in you. So how do we overcome the flesh? We keep presenting ourselves to the Lord each and every day. And when our hearts and minds are fixated on Him, it just doesn't leave any room for the flesh. May God bless you today. I'm Doug Apple.